The international community is once again forced to send a message of condemnation to Pyongyang. Washington went a step further, taking the opportunity to demand China and Russia do more to help rein in the regime. Kwon Jang-ho has the full story. Once again, the residents of Hokkaido, Japan, woke up to sirens, warning of a North Korea missile flying overhead. Last month was the first time in five years that North Korea had launched a missile over Japan. Now it has happened twice in just over two weeks. Tokyo was quick to condemn these actions. North Korea has trampled over the strong will of a united international community to a peaceful solution as seen in the United Nations resolution the other day. We absolutely cannot accept these provocations. In the U.S., Secretary of State Rex Tillerson released a statement condemning the launch, but also pointed the finger at China and Russia to do more. He said they must indicate their intolerance for these reckless launches by taking direct action of their own, noting that China supplies North Korea with most of its oil and that Russia is the largest employer of North Korean forced labor. Beijing responded late on Friday, stressing that China is not responsible for the North Korea crisis and that all parties need to tone down their threatening and provocative comments. China is not the focal point of the conflict. China is not the party raising tensions. China is not the key to resolve the issue on the Korean Peninsula. All parties directly involved should take responsibility to handle the situation. The foreign ministry spokesperson went on to say, although it will rigorously implement the new UN resolution on North Korea, Beijing does not believe sanctions will solve the problem and that a diplomatic solution is needed. Russia has not directly responded to Tillerson's comments, but the deputy head of Moscow's defense committee, Franz Klintsevich, also agreed there was no future in sanctions and that it only served to enrage Pyongyang. He also called on the U.S. to stop its aggressive rhetoric and military pressure. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.